In this video, we're going to be looking at arcs, semicircles, and central angles. So before we try to solve one of these and we define what a minor arc, a major arc, or a semicircle is, let's go ahead and look at some basics about the circle and its components. For example, in this circle, this point right here is in the very center of the circle. So we like to, we're going to end up calling this point the center point, or I am also going to make it our vertex. And the reason I'm going to do that is because we're going to draw two radius that come from it. So for instance, I'm going to make an angle real quick. Let's say that I draw a line from here to the circumference of the circle. So this is a radius, right? We would call this a radius. And if I were to draw a second radius, and, and I'm actually going to put some angle in here, so let's make this second radius 80 degrees. So if I notice I have this lined up with the first radius and this circle right here is lined up with the center point which is going to be our vertex and I'll go from 0 all the way over to 80 and then go down that's where that dot is right at 80 degrees. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect my center point to the circumference which has a point and this is another radius it's a second one now we have these two radius they all go to a center point and we'll call that our vertex of our angle so think of this as just an angle and I just told you that the angle here because we measured it with a protractor was 80 degrees so now we've created two radius we have our center point which also represents, represents the vertex of this angle it's where these two radius come together and this angle right here on the inside we're gonna call that the central angle so central angle in other words the 80 degrees is the central angle because it is the angle of this particular these particular radius that I connected now we'll go ahead and call this let's call this a over here and call this B over here there is a component on here and that component is going to be called an arc and it's basically this section of a circle in other words think about it as a piece of a circle that has a relationship with this angle here and this center point and that's what we're going to be talking about today so you're going to hear me use the word radius you're going to hear me use the word central angle and you may hear me say center or vertex and now you know what that is on a circle so let's go ahead and go back to the previous image so I just showed you what an arc looked like on the other circle and now we're going to look at the arc on this one so on this one um, we have minor arcs and major arcs so a minor arc is an arc that's going to be less than 180 degrees so a minor arc is less than 180 degrees for instance if I wanted to look at a minor arc I see that I have two radius coming together and forming an angle here and so this arc right here would be my minor arc. In this case we can also see the measurement notice that we have a right angle sign in here this is a 90 degree central angle in that arc. So if I wanted to write an arc there's a few different ways we can write it. Um, one way that we can write it is by using the two letters on the circumference of the circle that represents its beginning point and end point. For instance, I could go ahead and write this minor arc as BC. And then I'm just going to put an arc symbol over the top. Now we also have a major arc. A major arc just means that the arc is greater than 180 degrees. So in this case, with this one being the minor that I highlighted with orange, I'm going to get my pink highlighter, and the major arc would be this one going all the way around to the other side. And we could simply name this arc using three letters. So the arc can be named using three letters. There's our endpoints are still in the same place. This notice that it's not this section, which was the minor arc, 
but if we take that section out and we look at what is left we could call this B D C and that's a major arc and it is going to exceed 90 degrees and if we wanted to find a measure of it we could actually subtract notice that a whole circle and I didn't mention this earlier but a whole circle if you remember is 360 degrees and if I know that this minor arc right here if I know that it's 90 degrees then what I could do is take 360 degrees and minus 90 from it and it gives me 270 degrees so this one we could say our angle here is 270 degrees so I would call my major arc BDC BDC three points that are on that arc on the circumference of the circle representing that arc and if I wanted to put the measure of it I could say the measure of BDC is going to be equal to 270 degrees which notice that is greater than 180 on the previous one that we had done BC right BC its angle was 90 degrees so we could say the measure of BC is equal to 90 degrees so notice it was a minor arc because it was less than 180 degrees so I'm going to go ahead and highlight my major arc in pink and now we have a semicircle which is a special situation when we talk about a semicircle we're talking about an angle that is actually equal to 180 degrees so it can't be greater than and it can't be less than but when it's equal to 180 degrees we call it a semicircle for example this is a 90 degree angle here that means that this opposite side is also a 90 degree angle because E to C is a diameter so I'm going to write that line E to C is a diameter so because that's a diameter this whole angle and I'm just going to use my pen right here if I were to take this angle and just come around that angle would equal 180 degrees exactly in other words it's half of a circle so we would call that a semicircle and we could write that as E B C and its measure is equal to 180 degrees exactly so just remember to go ahead and when you're naming these name your minor arc with two letters name your major arc with three points on the circumference so it'll be three letters and a semicircle you're gonna name it as an arc as well using three letters but it'll always be one that is equal to 180 degrees and that is the difference between the three.